Well, there's an issue now with films. Um, Tyler Perry, yeah, yeah. who owns and he, he was building an eight hundred million dollar television studio, and he stopped production when he saw what is it called? Sora? Yeah. Is that what it's called, Jamie? Yeah. He stopped production when he saw the capabilities of AI to just for creating visuals, scenes, movies. Yeah. Uh, there's there's one that's incredibly impressive. It's Tokyo. They're walking down the street of Tokyo in the winter, so it's it's snowing, and they're walking down the street, and you look at it, you like, this is insane. This looks like a film. See if right. you can find that film, because it's incredible. But would you want to get rid of that? Get I mean, rid of what? The capability. No. No, I, I don't want to get rid of the capability. Right, but but, pe but people do want well, to people get that, rid of it. People that make movies, uh, people mean, that that actually film things with cameras and use actors, yeah. are going to be very upset. So this this is all fake, which is insane. Beautiful snowy Tokyo city is bustling. The camera moves through the through the bustling city street, following several people enjoying the beautiful snowy weather and shopping at nearby stalls. Gorgeous sakura petals are flying through the wind along with snowflakes, and this is what you get. Yeah, I mean, this is insanely good. The variability, like just the way people are dressed. If you saw this somewhere else, look at this, a robot's life in a cyberpunk setting. If you saw this, you would say, oh, they filmed this. But just look at what they're able to do with animation and kids' movies and things along those lines. Yeah, and it's going to get better. Yeah, it's uh, just incredible. I mean, it's a new art form. Uh so right there, the smoke looks a little uniform, but yeah. I mean, there's some problems with this, but like not much. Yeah, and you imagine what it was like five years ago, and then imagine what it's going to be like five years from yes, now. Yes, absolutely. And it's so, insane. We, I mean, no one took into consideration the idea that kids are going to be cheating on their school papers using Chat GPT. But my kids tell me that's a real problem in school now. Uh, yes, uh, definitely. Um, so no one saw that coming. No one saw this coming. And what we're what we're at now is what Chat GPT four, right? Four point five. Is that what it is? Well, four point five is coming. Four point five is coming. Five is supposed to be the uh, the massive leap. Uh, it'll be a leap, just like three to four was a massive leap. So mm -hmm. yeah, but it's gonna it's gonna continue. It's, it's never gonna be finished. Right. Um, it'll keep going, and it will also be able to make better versions of itself. Correct. And, yes, well, we do that. I mean, technology does that already. Right. But if you uh, scale that out 100 years from now, what are you looking at? You're looking at a god. Well, it'll be less than 100 years. I mean... So you're looking uh, at a god in 50 years? Less than that. I mean, once we have uh, an ability to emulate everything that humans can do, and not just one human, but, but all humans... humans yes. And that's only, like, 2029. That's only five years from now. And then it will make better versions of that. So it will probably solve a lot of the problems that we have in terms of energy storage, data storage, data speeds. Right. Computation uh, speeds. And also medications. For us. For, for humans, yeah. Well, wouldn't it be better just, Ray, just download yourself into this beautiful electronic body? Why do you want to be biological? Uh, I mean... Ultimately, that's what we're going to be able to do. You think that's going to happen? Yeah. So do you think that we'll be able to... I mean, we'll be able to create... I mean, the singularity is when we multiply our intelligence a million-fold, and that's 2045. So that's not that long from now. That's like 20 years from now. Right. Um, and, and therefore, most of your intelligence will be... Uh, handled by the computer part of ourselves. Um, the only thing that won't be c captured is what comes with our body originally. We'll ultimately be able to do that as well. It'll take a little longer, but we'll be able to actually capture what comes with our normal body uh, and be able to re recreate that. So that also has to do with uh, how long we live, because if if everything is backed up, I mean, right now, any time you put anything into a phone or any kind of electronics, it's backed up. So I mean, I could. This has a lot of data. I could flip it, and it ends up in 
uh, a river and we can't capture any more, I can recreate it because it's all right. backed up. And you think that's going to be the case with consciousness? Th- that's going to be the case of our normal uh, biological body as well. What's to stop someone like Donald Trump from just making 100,000 versions of himself? Like if you can back someone up, could you duplicate it? Couldn't you have three or four of them? Couldn't you have a bunch of them? Couldn't you live multiple lives? Yes. Uh, Would you be interacting with each other while you're living multiple lives, having consultations about what is St. Louis Ray doing? Well, I don't know. Let's talk to San Francisco Ray. San Francisco Ray is talking to Florida Ray. Uh, it's basically a matter of increasing our intelligence and being able to multiply Donald Trump, for example, that that comes with that. Do you think there'll be regulations on that to stop people from making a hundred thousand versions of themselves that operate a city? There'll be lots of regulations. There's lots of regulations we have already. You can't just like create a medication and sell it to people that it cures its disease. Right. We have tremendous num- amount of regulation. Sure, but we don't really with uh, phones. Uh, like with your phone, you could essentially, if you had the money, you could make as many copies of that as you wanted. Yeah. So, um, there are some regulations. We we have we regulate everything, but yeah. But you're right. Generally, electronics is doesn't have as much regulation as right. And when you get to a certain point, we will be electronics. Yes, yes. I mean, certainly, if we multiply our intelligence a million fold, everything of that additional million fold of yours is is not regulated right when you think about the the concept of integration and uh, technological integration when do you think that will start taking place and what will be the initial usage of it like what will be the first versions and and what would what would they provide well we w- we have it now large language models are pretty impressive I mean, if you look at what they can right, do... I mean, I mean, I'm talking about physical integration with the human body, like a Neuralink type thing. Right. Some people feel that we could actually understand what's going on in your brain and actually put things into your brain without actually going into the brain uh, with something like Neuralink. So something that, like, sits on the outside of your head? Yeah. Uh, it's not clear to me that if that's feasible or not. I've, I've been assuming that you have to actually go in... Now, Neuralink isn't exactly where we want because it's too slow, uh, and it's actually will do what it's advertised to do. Like if I actually know some people like this who were active people. 